Traceba Insulin Dugladuck Injection 100 units per milliliter, 200 units per milliliter. Traceba Insulin Dugladuck Injection is indicated to improve glycemic control in patients one year of age and older with diabetes. It is not recommended for treating diabetic ketoacidosis. Traceba is contraindicated during episodes of hypoglycemia and in patients with hypersensitivity to insulin degladec or any of the excipients in Traceba. Never share a Traceba flex touch pen, needle, or syringe between patients, even if the needle is changed. Patients using Traceba vials should never share needles or syringes with another person. Sharing poses a risk for transmission of bloodborne pathogens. Hyperglycemia or hypoglycemia with changes in insulin regimen. Changes in an insulin regimen, for example, insulin strength, manufacturer, type, or injection site, or method of administration, may affect glycemic control and predispose to hypoglycemia or hyperglycemia. Repeated insulin injections into areas of lipodystrophy or localized cutaneous amyloid doses have been reported to result in hyperglycemia and a sudden change in the injection site to an unaffected area has been reported to result in hypoglycemia. Make any changes to a patient's insulin regimen under close medical supervision with increased frequency of blood glucose monitoring. Advise patients who have repeatedly injected into areas of lipodystrophy or localized cutaneous amyloid doses to change the injection site to unaffected areas and closely monitor for hypoglycemia. Adjustments in concomitant anti-diabetic treatment may be needed. Please see additional important safety information throughout this video. Please click the link provided for prescribing information. Hello, I'm Dr. James Gavin. I'm here to talk about the basal insulin Traceba. Traceba was designed to be different, and we can see that in its mechanism of protraction. This protraction allows Traceba a slow and consistent rate of absorption into circulation. In the pen, Traceba exists as stable and soluble insulin dihexamers bonded together by zinc. Once Traceba is injected, the phenol diffuses and the insulin dihexamers form chains referred to as multihexamers. Since the rate of insulin absorption is tied closely to molecular size, these large multihexamers stay in place, creating a subcutaneous depot of insulin. As the zinc bonding the multihexamers diffuses, individual monomers slowly and continuously dissociate from both ends of each chain. These monomers are now the correct molecular size for absorption into the bloodstream. For patients who could benefit from a long duration of action, I would prescribe Traceba. Hypoglycemia. Hypoglycemia is the most common adverse reaction of insulin, including Traceba. Severe hypoglycemia can cause seizures, may be life-threatening, or cause death. Hypoglycemia can impair concentration ability and reaction time. This may place the patient and others at risk in situations where these abilities are important, for example, driving or operating other machinery. Hypoglycemia can happen suddenly, and symptoms may differ in each patient and change over time in the same patient. Symptomatic awareness of hypoglycemia may be less pronounced in patients with long-standing diabetes. In patients with diabetic neuropathy, using drugs that block the sympathetic nervous system, for example, beta blockers, or who experience recurrent hypoglycemia. The long-acting effect of Traceba may delay recovery from hypoglycemia compared to shorter-acting insulins. Risk factors for hypoglycemia. The risk of hypoglycemia generally increases with intensity of glycemic control. The risk of hypoglycemia after an injection is related to the duration of action of the insulin and in general is highest when the glucose lowering effect of the insulin is maximal. As with all insulins, the glucose lowering effect time course of Traceba may vary among different patients or at different times in the same patients and depends on many conditions, including the area of injection as well as the injection site blood supply and temperature. Other factors which may increase the risk of hypoglycemia include changes in meal pattern, 
changes in level of physical activity, or changes to concomitant drugs. Patients with renal or hepatic impairment may be at higher risk of hypoglycemia. Patients and caregivers must be educated to recognize and manage hypoglycemia. In patients at higher risk for hypoglycemia and patients who have reduced symptomatic awareness of hypoglycemia, increased frequency of blood glucose monitoring is recommended. Hypoglycemia due to medication errors. Accidental mix-ups between insulin products have been reported. To avoid medication errors between Traceba and other insulins, always instruct patients to always check the insulin label before each injection. To avoid dosing errors and potential overdose, never use a syringe to remove Traceba from the Traceba FlexTouch disposable insulin pre-filled pen. Hypersensitivity reactions. Severe, life-threatening, generalized allergy, including anaphylaxis, can occur with insulins, including Traceba. If hypersensitivity reactions occur, discontinue Traceba. Treat per standard of care and monitor until symptoms and signs resolve. Hypokalemia. All insulins, including Traceba, cause a shift in potassium from the extracellular to intracellular space, possibly leading to hypokalemia. Untreated hypokalemia may cause respiratory paralysis, ventricular arrhythmia, and death. Monitor potassium levels in patients at risk for hypokalemia and treat if indicated. Fluid retention and heart failure with concomitant use of PPAR gamma agonists. Fluid retention and heart failure can occur with concomitant use of thiazolidine dienes, TZDs, which are PPAR gamma agonists, and insulin, including Traceba. Patients should be observed for signs and symptoms of heart failure. If heart failure occurs, dosage reduction or discontinuation of the TZD must be considered. Adverse reactions commonly associated with Traceba are hypoglycemia, allergic reactions, injection site reactions, lipodystrophy, pruritus, rash, edema, and weight gain. There are certain drugs that may cause clinically significant drug interactions with Traceba. Drugs that may increase the risk of hypoglycemia include anti-diabetic agents, ACE inhibitors, angiotensin II receptor blocking agents, disopyramide, fibrates, fluoxetine, monoamine oxidase inhibitors, pentoxifiline, pramlantide, salicylates, somatostatin analog, for example, octreotide, sulfonamide antibiotics, GLP-1 receptor agonists, DPP-4 inhibitors, and SGLT2 inhibitors. Drugs that may decrease the blood glucose lowering effect include atypical antipsychotics, for example, olanzapine and clozapine, corticosteroids, danazol, diuretics, estrogens, glucagon, isoniazid, niacin, oral contraceptives, phenothiazines, progestogens, for example, in oral contraceptives, protease inhibitors, somatropin, sympathomimetic agents, for example, albuterol, epinephrine, terbutaline, and thyroid hormones. Drugs that may increase or decrease the blood glucose lowering effect include alcohol, beta blockers, clonidine, lithium salts, and pentamidine. Drugs that may blunt the signs and symptoms of hypoglycemia include beta blockers, clonidine, guanethidine, and reserpine.